Thank you so much and God bless you all. Your passion is not my dream, and this is a very sensitive one. And to listen attentively, the issue of sex and sexuality education is a touchy subject for many parents, and they are able to discuss issues about sex with their children. At what age and how would you suggest that parents begin to talk about sex with their children? Thank you very much for your question. Thank you very much for the whole time. My understanding of sex education is the high quality teaching and learning about topics related to sex. I understand that the topic of sex is quite uncomfortable for most parents. Um, but if parents are able to discuss the topic of sex with their children, it goes a long way to make later conversations with their children easy because their children, number one, are able to understand that sex, sexuality, and bodies form a healthy part of their lives. When parents have open and honest conversations with their children about sex, it builds trust. It means that children come back to them for reliable information because they know they can count on their parents to make certain life choices, including sex. And the good part of sex education is that it is not a one of conversation. It evolves as a child grows older. In my view, the best time to start the topic of sex with your child is when your child is in his or her for 18 years. That is from about age 3 to 8. Because it is in the formative years of a child that he is really able to quickly learn so many things. Research has actually proven that when a child is in his or her formative years, he is able to learn about five languages. So teaching a child about sex can go a long way to stay in his mind to make the right choices. When a child is about two to three, when a child is about two to three, they are curious about their bodies. And they realize that the bodies of boys are different from that of girls. So as a parent, what you can do is to use everyday moments. For example, when you are giving your child a bath, or when you are preparing your child for school, you tell your child, oh, mommy, this is your chest. And when you grow up, it will become like mommy's school. You're going to develop breast. When you grow up, you're going to have a broad chest like daddy. I remember some time back, my nephew brought homework from school, and the homework demanded that he describes his little body. He had to draw his body and label the parts. So dear parents, if this is uncomfortable for you to talk about, you can adopt the textbooks of your children. It has some of these drawings in there. You can label the parts for your children to see. The same age from two to three, you can teach your children nicknames of private parts. Some of us call the vagina the vajayjay. Yes. Some call the penis the pee, pee Yes, you can teach your children some nicknames of private parts. When children are from about four to five, they are curious about where babies come from. Where do babies come from? Most children think that babies grow in the tummy of their mommy. But as a mother, you can sit your child down and tell your child, no, babies do not come from the tummy of mommy. They are formed in a special place in mommy's body known as the uterus or the womb. You are educating your child. When children are about six to eight, they are curious about how babies are made. Dear parents, this is the right time to initiate the conversation of sexual intercourse. Tell your child that sexual intercourse is when daddy puts his baby into mommy's vagina and his baby is This goes a long way to help your child to know that when something like that happens, a baby is gone. Parents, when you do this, you put something in your child's mind to know that mother, sex is not for children. Let your children know that sex is for our children, for grown people only when they are ready. Sex is not for children. If you have dishonest conversations with your children, it is easy for them to report the sexual assault and development cases to you. Who to go and know to reduce the crime rate in Ghana? In my last view, the community years of a child, that is about me to be at the first time to discuss the issue of sex with your children. Thank you.
Alright, so take up your question in number five and you do this. Someone went through to have an idea that jailing or rapists has not been a strong enough punitive measure in stopping others from committing. Oh, we should have read. Oh, should have listened to your family. So I'll just, I'll just hold them. I'll hold them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hold them. 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 I'll
frustration is too much. Let's not forget that we are human beings and only animals are frustrated. Thank you. That's what is paramount 
rather speak. Consider this in controlling our social media platforms. Because culturally, sometimes I wonder, where are we going? People no longer respect others on social media. Someone can just type any, excuse me to say, any good word to people on social media. And that hurts so much. For the sake of mental health awareness, I believe and stand firm by the notion that social media should be regulated by the state. After that, thank you. Thank you so much, Well done, ladies. We move to our judges, and all of them will comment on the submissions from our ladies. And don't forget, these are the opinions and thoughts of our ladies on these issues. Judges, I'll start with you. Sweet Janet, take it away. Like I always say, I'm super, super proud of all of you because you spoke so eloquently and you seem to have researched your subjects in details. Okay, let me start with Connor. Connor, you sounded a bit jittery. I don't know if you were not convinced about what you were saying, but I do not. And we can have a debate. I do not subscribe that the government should control social media. I do not at all, because they can take away the creativity, the freedom of speech. Yes, there are ways that, that, that can be regulated, but I don't, I don't. To um, Taya, thank you very much. I do believe that creation is However, I think you only touched something very pretty. And that is psychoanalysis. There is definitely a root cause behind these rapes, be it from the male or from the female gender. And I think we didn't go into that. Once we don't understand the root causes, we cannot come up with the right solutions. To Asiedua, thank you. I don't believe that team sensing should be abolished. However, I think they should be contemporized so that they remain relevant to current times. Otherwise, they risk be obsolete. And I think that we did not go further there. To a Sierra, my dear, thank you very much. I was a bit pedestrian, and for you who is a strong advocate for STEM, I missed it. Yes, I don't want to talk about it. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm talking about Sorry. So what I'm saying is, I'm winning. You are an advocate for STEM. You know the impact of technology, of technology on sexual education. And you mentioned nothing about technology or the social media and how it I hope. Well done. I don't have a comment at all.
I agree with your point, I agree with your position, and I think that we needed a little more um, to be able to bring the, those on the other side over. That's a thing we take for a neutral. I'm really comprehensive sexuality education I was with you and to go to the points I think we said age eight, eight nine you tell the child that this baby goes into the mother's So well done there. Sarah, yours was straight to the point. This was good. I think that castration is the way to go. However, I think you made the point and you gave good reasons and therefore you are sitting with your back. to add research, more research. 
I hope, I've always said it, you also did well tonight. You went a bit long, but you gave us a lot of information. That made a lot. That gave us a lot of points to think about. I was very moved about what was happening and how far back other African countries go. I like the fact that you took it to two decisions that were made and I've educated myself on the